welcome. Comprehensive plan update for Lowndes County. I'm Julia. Um, I'm a planner with the Southern Georgia Regional Commission. And this is an informal workshop. And uh, so feel free to speak up. Feel free to move around. Feel free to stand, to sit, to let us know. This, this is just an lecture um, meeting. So it's not very conducive to a lot of interaction. Because you all have your backs to each other. <laughs> so um, that will make the, we'll make the best out of this. Um, please all sign in the back so we have a good record of who's attending and can contact you for the next workshops and send you the updates out of um, our comprehensive plans. And I'll tell you just a little bit how we're going to go about this. I think we might also still have a couple um, workbooks back there. So this is a series of about three or four workshops with which we update the comprehensive plan. So this is not a completely new development. You did one a few years ago, and we will have to go through it now and update. And what we did to make it a lot easier for everybody, um, DCA now has a new format for the comprehensive plan. So we took the old comprehensive plan and put it in a new format. So once we go through this document, and we've had the workshop, and we've revised all the sections that need to be updated, then we will have our new comprehensive plan update already in the format that it needs to be. And usually what we do is we do a series of three or four workshops. In the first workshop, we go over the goals, issues, and opportunities that were developed for the previous comp plan. And we'll look at those and we'll make sure that, you know, are they still current? Do they need to be revised? Do they need to be deleted? Do you have other ones that need to go in there? There's one goal for each category or element in the comprehensive plan. Um, so, if, you know, we'll go through those, those eight. Um, so, those are your goals and we're going to go look through them. The next ones then, under each of these categories, we have issues and opportunities that you all developed um, for Greater Lowndes County a few years ago. So we will go through those and determine whether those are still relevant and whether they need to be deleted, revised, or some new ones added. And we'll do that for all of the ones that are in here. And that's only three or four pages. That's not 30 pages. So uh, we should be able to get this done today. So <laughs> the next workshop then, um, we will take the revised issues and opportunities that you come up with in this workshop. We will put them in the workbook under the issues and policies. So we, we replace the old issues with the new issues that you have come up with, sort the policies underneath those, and then we'll go next workshop, we'll go through the policies and uh, make sure that you all can still live with them or you know whether they need to be deleted, added, or revised. And then um, we'll have some uh, internal meetings with Lowndes and Valdosta and the other cities go through the old um, short-term work program and uh, get the status of those projects, where they're now and, and what has happened to them. And then we will also meet with all the necessary staff within all of those governments to come up with the new uh, community work program, which is the new term for a short-term work program. So, um, and that's more, a little bit more specific now than it used to be, so it's really more like a capital improvements program now than um, it was five years ago. Um, but we still put a little bit more projects in there than actually even DCA requires, because we know that whenever you apply for a grant, any of the state and federal agencies look at our or your five-year work program to make sure that that project or something similar is in there uh, in any of those five years um, to kind of indicate that you already thought about it and 
that it's not just something new. Um, if it's if you apply for a grant and it's not in your five-year work program, you usually find something <coughs> that's similar enough in the regional work program. So don't worry about it. Um, but the more projects, specific projects that we have in work, the better. Um, and then the last workshop uh, will be to take the character areas, the character area maps, and the land use maps and start drawing on those where the boundaries of certain character areas or future development maps have changed and where you want them to change in the future. Because you already have a great basis of your, your character areas that they were all developed five years ago. So now we're just going to go in and fine tune them what has changed in the last five years. So, so that's pretty much it. It's, it's not complicated. Um, and it's, it's a really easy update, but you know we want to make sure that the comprehensive plan stays uh, current for you all, and, and you definitely can rely on it as, as your guiding document for any zoning and land use decisions. Um, and there was something else. Oh yeah, for grants, and this this is something that is really, really, really important. Your service delivery strategy is due at the same time, October 31st, that the comprehensive plan is due. Um, we don't play a role in the service delivery strategy. That's the local governments. And DCA needs a minimum of 30 days review for the service delivery strategy. So it has to be approved and adopted and signed by all local governments no later then October 31st. Um, and if there are negotiations, you better start them now. Because once you lose the, the, your, your certification, if it's not approved and signed on November 1, DCA will take your certification away as a qualified local government for the time that the service delivery strategy is not adopted. And what that means, that means is that as of November 1, no federal or state dollar will be paid to the county or the cities, regardless of who's holding it up. All parties that are part of service delivery strategy will not be able to apply for a new grant, will not get any grant funding, will not get any CDBG monies, will not get anything that's state or federal. Um, DLT even, uh, with some local governments, held a uh, money to, to replace some, uh, I don't know what they were doing, potholes or something on one of the roads. So I don't think they don't talk to each other, they do. And they, they have gotten very, very insistent upon service delivery strategies being done and done in time, and they're looking at them. They're making sure that services that were in the previous ones are continued in the new one, or if they're not, that it's explained why. Or if the name has changed, that it's explained why. So they're, they're not approving content, but they're definitely approving format. And they will take the whole 30 days. So that's just something you will hear me nag about that. But if you have anything to do with negotiations and service delivery strategy, um, make sure that those get done no later than uh, September 30th. Um, the other thing is if that is not possible, there is an easy way to extend the service delivery strategy as is for a certain amount of time to give you a little bit more time to do negotiations. But service <laughs> delivery strategy that is, has to be in the back of your mind, that has to be adopted at the same time as the comprehensive plan. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> okay. Um.